Okay, so when I was setting this up yesterday, one problem I ran into was configuring the network, which is how you control the board. Um, if you look right here, Ethernet 2 on my Mac Pro is where I've got the Blackmagic plugged in. And the IP address, this is very important right here. Um, it, so it was easy to remember. I just had the uh, IP address that I assigned the, to the ATOM um, was all once. And when I plugged that in here, obviously I couldn't connect until I changed this last number to a two. Now, I don't know anything about that, but no one said anything in the instructions or online ab about it, so I was a little frustrated. But once I got that taken care of, everything else was good. I wanted to record this whole thing on the iPhone through the Apple TV. Um, one of my inputs is an Apple is the Apple TV via HDMI, but um, I haven't I haven't been able to get that working. But other than that, I mean, it's really easy to set up. Controlling audio is a piece of cake. Hello. Okay, so Emma's gonna. She's been doing some stuff on her laptop. So let's let's take a look at what she's doing right now on her laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up the audio. The video is pretty quiet, it looks like. Can you full screen that by I'm gonna boost the audio a little bit. Okay, so that's her performing on the Freedom Adventure, And, um... That's enough of that, so I'm going to switch back to the game and um, take away her audio because we don't care about that anymore. And uh, let's, sh let's, let's show how easy this is. Emma, go over there to the interface. Yeah. And um, she's going to turn the, the audio on for this camera that I'm using. So switch down there in the bottom, you see audio. Okay, switch to that. Now, this camera is camera six. See how it's not lit up in red? Go down to the bottom and hit that on button. And now come over here and talk to me. Where do I talk into? So, so now you can talk right into this, this boom. Talk into the boom. This concludes today's test of I don't know what. I'm just sitting here waiting. Story of my life. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Um, this is test two. All right, I got the Apple TV on a um, private wireless network here, and that's going into this um, Aja HDMI to SDI converter a little more powerful than a normal one. So let's show you what I'm doing here. So on my phone, Wi-Fi, switch to the proper network. Okay, now I'm on that router. Now we swipe up, hit AirPlay, and I am connected. And now I'm gonna switch to that. Okay, so now you're seeing everything I'm doing on here. And I'm gonna go to video. All right, so um, what I've found is that this does work, obviously. Um, but uh, I won't be surprised if this cuts out momentarily. I haven't, I haven't been successful with anything over like a minute. I've got uh, audio coming from over here on this Shure UR5 and um, it's still working it seems. This is the best it's been so far. All right so yeah this is, uh, this is working better than it has been. Let's just walk around here and see uh, the distance. Let's 
so we're about 20 feet away at this point. I'm gonna walk out into the hallway. And uh, this is a big live event that we're gonna be doing soon. And I can't imagine that you're ever gonna be more than 40 feet from what we're gonna be doing. And I'm still, I don't think it cut out. The one issue is just this guy. We have to figure out how to get 1080p into 1080i. And a normal SDI, HDMI to SDI converter does not do it. It's gonna be this more beefy one, which is uh, unfortunately way more expensive. Let's go even further. Let's go further. Now this is not a beefy router or anything, but um, Let's see how far we can go here. So we got a lot of concrete walls we're walking through here. I would, wouldn't be surprised if the signal gets lost at this point. So my guess is that when I leave the range of that router, I switch over to the network. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what happened. My phone um, went off of this router and went onto uh, the school's network when I made that distance. So seems seems uh, seems like it's working pretty well. Okay, welcome back. Another test for the Blackmagic switcher. The setup is two wired cameras, one wireless camera, uh, two Macs, and an Apple TV. And I'll switch through the inputs here. My Mac, the laptop that I'm using to switch with right here. We've got the Apple TV and GoPro just above this Aja ROI that uh, that um, does the magic on the conversion so that the ATEM can read the signal from the Apple TV. Right below that I've got a um, wireless router for the network that we're about to connect to. And uh, let's see, then got a cannon over there. And then we're spying on Jesus. We're spying on Jesus in his office. That's a wireless signal coming from, I don't know, about 20 yards away. So I'm gonna go to my system settings get off the Northwestern network and go to this, this guy right here. Okay, I'm connected. And if I pull up, I see the airplay button. Now we go to what I'm doing and we'll go to the camera, video, okay. So, here's the front of that box. Anyway, um, so we're gonna go over here. This is the, the wireless Teradek Bolt, the 300 model, and I'm pretty sure that stands for 300 feet. As you can see here on the side, the signal is very good. And that goes down here, onto the back, of course. Got the uh, ethernet that's connected to the laptop. That's how the switcher is controlled. And we're gonna go all the way over here to where the, the camera is. So this is where 
it is sending the signal from. And again, that's not, it's not very far, but I think these walls are probably gonna be more interference than what we're gonna deal with anyway. So, what else? Okay. Okay, welcome back to um, the home test. This is the final test for the wireless Teradek. And we're also gonna check out what happens if we bring stuff in at 720p. Can we eliminate the use of the Aja ROI? And I'm gonna go outside in a second and test the distance. And this is uh, receiving the signal from this camera right here. Um, and this is battery powered camera and uh, just uh, video transmitter. So I'll switch to that. Does that make sense to everyone? All right, one more time. Sending wireless signal to the trans, uh, transmitter uh, over to the receiver. Receiver's coming in to SDI into the ATOM. We're gonna probably lose the signal when I go outside brick walls, whatnot, but once we get onto the street, the, the signal should pop back up again. Um, and right now my audio is coming from the Panasonic. I'm wearing a lapel. So here we go. Taking my phone. Here we go. Let's, let's give it a shot. Uh, so let's see. I'm still, you know, there's really nothing blocking the signal right now. Um, we're probably 50 feet. This is 50 feet. All right, let's go outside. Probably gonna lose. Okay, so we're outside now and uh, right up there. I'm still sig sending signal. I says that I'm connected. So what's this right now? We're, uh, I don't know. Let's keep going here. Uh, this should do it. This should definitely do it. I'm going to switch the system to 720. We'll be right back after I switch this signal. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I had actually tested this at the school uh, with the same results. Apple TV obviously works, the, the mirroring works at 720 without the Aja ROI. What happens right now if I switch my camera to shoot in 720? Let's find out. 
All right, I'm gonna tell it to go into 720p30. So, I've switched the camera to 720p. We're getting a wireless signal, and I have got the ATOM unit on 720, and, um, and the Apple TV is, we're not using, we're not using the ROI. Let me switch. We're not using the ROI. Um, that is cut out of the mix now. We're just going straight from the Apple TV to the ATOM. And camera right there is getting 720p. Check that out. Um, wirelessly, that's working. It's transmitting fine. My screen looks like garbage now, but that's, that's fine. You know, I'll deal with that. Um, let me show you. Mac. All right. The conclusion is that, um, yeah, we can, we can do it. We can eliminate the converter box for the Apple TV, but uh, it's really not that good because then we're only recording 720. Um, if we had to, we could do all of this in 720 and it would work fine. Um, so we're not going to be switching to the GoPros anyway. Um, my Panasonic, if the camera is shooting 1080 but outputting 720, I don't get a signal. If it's shooting 720, outputting 720, I obviously get a signal. Um, so we'd lose edit. We'd lose that resolution for edit purposes. Is that uh, is that important? How important is it to have? 1080 resolution for our edits. This is a very informal test, and I apologize. It's going to be hard to even use any of this. But this thing sure is powerful. I'm going to make some good stuff happen with it. <laughs> 